What's up you guys? So uh, for the first time ever today, my video got a strike. Never had that happen before. I've had this channel since 2011, it might've been 2013. I think it's 2011 I've had it since. I've had it for a very long time. I have uploaded over a hundred videos. I've never had a strike. And this is the first time ever. So the clip that got striked, it's still in here, but I blurred it. So this is the re-upload. Enjoy cursed content. Warning, the following program contains blurred images of real life scenarios in which people actually die, are killed, etc. Proceed with extreme caution. In addition to real death, the following program also might or might not be generated by AI. We still aren't sure. If you have a weak stomach or are a weak little baby or are easily offended by edgecore opinions and rants, do not watch the following program. In fact, no one should watch this program. Not now, not ever. Go away, fuck you. Yeah, silly little boy. Who's that silly little boy? Just that silly little boy. Look at that silly little boy. Who's that silly little boy? What's that silly little boy? See that silly little boy. Look at that silly little boy. Try to test my sound, you'll get destroyed. The buff that them will get deployed. Not for the fame, this no Leroy. Old school veteran, my fat boy. Check out the chat, no, we don't toy. No full start and no decoy. Heavy like what? Heavy like convoy. Hey guys, it's your boy Josh. And today I'm gonna show you my piss card. Who's that silly little boy? Oh my god. Look at that silly little boy. Who's that silly little boy? What's that silly little boy? See that silly little boy. Look at that silly little boy. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Do you know who Glorb is? Do you know who Glorb is? Uh -uh. Shout out to Glorb if anybody's watching this. Glorb is an artist who's on like Spotify and YouTube is like a music artist. Uh -huh. And it's a dude that he writes the lyrics, right? And then he's programmed in AI and fed it like every single episode of Spongebob. <laughs> and he makes the AI rap all of the different vocals as the different characters of Spongebob. And yeah, it's the shit. Glorb is fucking gangster. I love Glorb. And so this is just me hanging out, making some food, listening to Glorb. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Glorb is the shit, and like, it's so crazy how perfect the voices are, and it's like, mind-blowing. Yeah, Glorb is so cool. Yeah. My caption on this was dudes being dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Silas, who's been commenting on shit. <laughs> Record all you want, but I'm not gonna let you put your foot on my vagina. What? <laughs> I hate it when people give me directions. I'm just like, why are you talking right now? Shut up. <laughs> Show you this one? Maybe. 
Oh, man. This dude, first off, this shit's hilarious because this guy who gets knocked the fuck out looks like my dad if he was black. <laughs> and second off, he acts like my dad if he was black. He's just like, I'm going to pick a fight with you even though I know you could kick my ass. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, man, you better your mother? I'm going to right now. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't fucking touch him. Don't, don't touch him. He just said to him, you're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you are, sir. <laughs> it's all on camera. Like, look at him. Look at the size difference. Like, Completely. A, the guy on the left is fucking huge. And B, the guy on the right is not toned. And the guy on the left, like, you can tell he lifts weights. Mm -hmm. Like, he is, he is fucking strong. Yeah. Yeah, it's about to go down. Bro, I'm scared. Oh, no, no, Yo, no, you're, no, you're, no, acting no, control, no, you're acting out of control, sir. You're acting out of control. Come on, come on. And I gotta say, God bless this black lady. Here's an example of a black lady being a good person in one of mm -hmm. these views. She's trying to de-escalate this. She's trying to get her husband to calm the fuck down. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you, lady. God bless you. And she's saying to him, please, please, please don't fucking yeah. do this. Yeah. As this dude's about to fucking kick his ass. Yep. Like, she tried so hard to stop this from happening. She did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop my... All right, all right. And she knows he deserves it. Uh -huh. and like, she's like, please don't, but like, just like, I'm but, not getting but, my ass kicked too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop right, fucking right. playing with me, nigga. Excuse me. I told you stop playing with me, nigga. All right, stop playing with me. And this is where he really fucked up, is he tries to stand up and still fight him. And like, when this dude, he said, stop playing with me, stop playing with me. Like, he, this could have ended right there, and he would have let it. Mm -hmm. But this dude tries to stand up and flex on him again. Mm. That's what shit goes Stupidity. down. Stupidity. Stupidity. Damn. 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 Knocked out cold. And he's so lucky that you can see the way he landed on here. Just his, his shoulder fucking hit the corner of it and he slid down it. Mm -hmm. Had his shoulder not eaten that... Or had he hit his head on that, mm -hmm. even if he hit his head on that, it would have fucking dampened his impact on the tile. Yeah. The tile is harder than that fucking pole is. And, yeah. He got lucky. He got lucky that pole was there, because if he fucking had just straight landed like that, it could have killed him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Damn. Yeah, and the moral of this story is be polite and don't fucking pick fights with people. Exactly. Be nice, people. Be like this what this dude's wife was trying to be. Yeah. <laughs> or you can get <laughs> fucking hurt. Damn. Yeah. Damn. 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 Stop playing with me, nigga. Call the cops, bro. Call the niggas, bro. Everyone was commending this chick. <laughs> Bless the camera girl. <laughs> Fuck, I gave him his money. I don't know why he keep talking to me, bro. Fuck. Stop playing with me, bro. Hold keeper something come back. <laughs> I, don't, I, I never saved his number. I'd be a winner. So, Lake and Riley was this girl in Georgia that a few weeks ago got beat to death by an illegal immigrant, an illegal immigrant from Venezuela who had been arrested on his way into the country, illegally immigrating, mm -hmm. and then released, and then was arrested in New York City for endangering a child. The crime, I've looked into it, the crime that he had committed that was endangering the child was he was doing, like, DoorDash deliveries, allegedly. Yeah. And fucking was doing it on a go-ped, or a moped, right? Like mm -hmm. a scooter. Yep. With the child with him, and neither of them were wearing helmets. Right? And okay. that's a felony. Yeah. Especially in the state of New York. And he was released, right? Knowing he was an illegal immigrant, right? 
Also, bear in mind that right now there's a huge issue with this fucking Venezuelan gang. There, I have another video about it somewhere, but it's like it's called like Trey Agua something. I can't, I don't speak Spanish, but this gang is like the biggest gang in fucking Venezuela, right? And mm-hmm. they have so in Honduras is where MS13 is from. Yeah, and in Honduras, their new president has fucking oh, it just ended the live video. Aww. Whatever. Um, so anyway, in fucking Honduras, is like where MS-13 was. Mm-hmm. Like a year or two ago, they elected a new president and he declared war on MS-13. Yeah. He built a super prison that houses 40,000 inmates, right? Damn. Yeah. And for like a year straight now, they've been literally just fucking rounding them up. Like, go, like, like full on army brigades roaming the streets, mm-hmm. finding anyone who even looks like they might be a gang member and sending them to this prison, right? Because of this, the fucking power structure of MS-13 has been collapsing mm-hmm. because, like, so many people are being fucking put yeah. in prison. And to fill that void, now MS-13 is recruiting Venezuelans who are now coming into the country. And so this gang, Treagua, right, mm-hmm. has fucking joined forces with MS-13 and they're becoming like the people on the ground in America the enforcers for MS-13 now and they're all committing all these crimes on fucking mopeds mostly in like New York and Miami and shit right and they're, they're mugging people stealing their shit stealing their cell phones one of the big things that they do is they look for people that are on the street using their phone and they roll up fast as fuck on a moped, grab your fucking phone and ride off, and then they just keep tapping the stream to keep it from turning itself off, Mm -hmm. and then they get into all of your shit, drain drain your bank account, steal your identity, etc., etc., and they're backed by MS-13. And so this dude was a Venezuelan, illegal immigrant, etc., 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 and then after he was arrested in New York, he fled to Georgia, Once in Georgia, and here's another thing, that kid, we don't even know if that was his kid, right? So, because it wasn't with him when this shit happened in Georgia. So, in Georgia, he fucking went creeping around Georgia University, right? Like, I think it was Georgia State University, right? Yeah. Went creeping around the fucking university. There's a bike path that, like, goes around a lake where, like, people go running every day. Mm -hmm. He fucking posted up, waited for a pretty girl to run by, fucking... Attacked her, raped her, and beat her to death with a rock, right? And then Joe Biden fucking gave this speech, right? And mispronounced her fucking name, called her Lincoln Riley. Her name is Lincoln Riley, right? Mispronounced her name, had the fucking gall to mispronounce her name, and then insult her parents and make this shit about him, right? Mm -hmm. And then fucking to add insult to all of this he fucking said yes the guy was an illegal blah 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 blah. and then after the speech all the fucking liberals all fucking started calling him out saying that it was racist of him to call him an illegal and then joe biden apologized for that apologized to this guy who fucking murdered a fucking college student yeah Yeah, this is our president. Fuck you, Joe Biden. You are a disgrace. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah. And and not only that, this particular fucking State of the Union speech Mm -hmm. has been applauded by the left. Like they're like, Joe Biden at his best. And like I saw this and I'm disgusted by it. And not only that, when he fucking mispronounces her name, right? Yeah. He mispronounces her name, and the camera guy pans to Marjorie Taylor Greene yelling at him. And then the whole media frenzy about this was all about Marjorie Taylor Greene being fucking cringe instead of the fact that Joe Biden just fucked up big time. (laughs) It's absolutely appalling. And this is what I mean when I say, like, they use psyops to fucking fuck with public opinion. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at this objectively, like, you just mispronounced your name, 
you're the goddamn president of our country and you mispronounced her name mm -hmm. and then you insulted her parents by making it about you and then you yeah. apologize to the murderer and somehow and somehow the left can fucking do the mental gymnastics to see this as a good thing it's backwards like i'm sorry like how can you hear what i just said and see it any other way like Y'all are fucking out of your minds. It's backwards. Yup, and so let's watch the clip. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Sure. Not really. I... Lincoln... Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by legals? Minimize it. To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. Make it about him. I understand. But look, if we change the dynamic at the border, people pay people, people pay these smugglers 8,000 bucks to get across the border because they know if they get by, if they get by and let into the country, it's six to eight years. My it's six to eight years before they see their day in court, is what he was saying. And he knows wow. it, and he allows it. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. Monkeys will not rip your face off, and monkeys cannot kill you. This little, does this little thing look like he's gonna rip anybody up? No. My youth, you don't know where my plan <laughs> is. As soon as you cut off that camera, yeah, me I go rip off your face, and I put you up on a t shirt. You're a real John Cuspit, had that, me I tell you. I am pink. Stink my bumbo clad. <laughs> Just follow me. Let me share for you next one. I, I posted this and my caption on it was like that moment you find like that moment you finally realize Asians are more racist than everyone else. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Thank you to me. Okay honey, if you like it, you can take screenshots. They are very good quality and very low price. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and me. Thank you, my honey. Okay, 54. Very, very cool. Honey, I already follow my brother, Kenya. I already follow me. <laughs> so this, I'm guessing you have no idea what this means. So this is a Line 6 amplifier. Back in the day when I was like a kid, these amps oh, were known these. for... These, these amps are known for having, like, the best array of effects. Like, they had so many effects built into them, and it was so cool. And, yeah. And, like, back when I used to play guitar and everyone else did, like, these were the shit. I only know about these because of my brother. Yep. So, yep. you know. Yeah. And so, it's point of, point of view. It's 2003, and you've turned, you've tuned to drop D for the first time. And drop D is where you, like, down-tune the, the low strings. So heavy, you know? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Mikey, I think he likes it. Want some more? Hell oh, yes. I should be in school. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. <laughs> the fucking music like sells it. <laughs> This shit is so funny. This is a whole channel. It's toys under high voltage. <laughs> it's so great.
la 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 Absolutely brilliant. The fuck this dude just like pulled the review the reverse Uno card. This shit's so epic. La 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 la. Oh my god. Yes, I'm good. Oh uh, yes. Oh nothing. I was just coming to make sure you okay. Oh, I'm good, man. Yes, you know I love a man in uniform oh. and yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> my name Punchin. Is he super gay? Uh -huh. uh, what's yours? I'm Ryan. Ryan. Oh my god. So how's the <laughs> job and everything, all right? Can't complain. I just got a call though. I got a roll. I just saw you walking out. I want to make sure you were all right. Oh my god. All right. Let me give you my gay tap. Uh, oh, I love you, Ryan. You be safe, okay? How you doing? Yes, I love you. All right. That's so funny. So smart. My license is not right. So before I drive, I want him to go. Bye, Ryan. Yes! <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yes. I think I'm having a genius moment. That's so funny. Yes. Yes. It's coming to me now. <laughs> yeah. What a fucking smart guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> a fucking Jedi mind trick to that cop. My